Hi, this is Dave, and today we're going to upgrade the halogen lights on our Jeep JK Wrangler with these brand new LED lights from Be Sure. They have a halo that has got the daytime running lights and the yellow turn signals, and they should be a big improvement to make things a lot brighter when we're driving at night. Just open the hood. First thing we have to do is get the grill off, which you start by taking these little pins here. There's six of these pins across the Jeep. And what you have to do is you pry up on the center pin. If it comes all the way out, that's okay. And then you can pry up on this piece and get it out. But make sure you save the pieces. And we'll do that for all six. The next thing is to pull out on the grill There's some clips at the bottom that you have to they come loose so you just gently pull straight out okay. next thing we're going to disconnect the front turn signals so the, what you do is you take this little red thing and you push it to the back like that and then you can push back here and release the clip and unplug it like that and do that on the other side too now we can set the grill off to the side and keep it safe while we work on the light so we're going to remove the old headlights. You need a T15 Torx screwdriver, and there's four screws that you have to take out. Okay, then the light comes out, and it's got the same thing where you take and push the red clip back. And then you can push back here to release the plug and then wiggle it off the light. So this Y adapter I've purchased from Oracle. I'm going to use it to connect in between the factory light or the factory wiring harness. The other one will go to the factory turn signal up front. And I'll cut the other plug off and use that to run up to the new uh, Be Sure lights. The wires on this, if you look at it, there's a black for the ground, which lines up with the black in the factory plug. The middle wire is red, which is for the parking light. And we've got a red wire from Be Sure that will go up and connect into the red wire on the back of the light. The yellow light from the splitter will connect to the yellow wire from Be Sure, and that'll go up and turn in, connect into the green wire on the back of the lights for the turn signal. Now we're going to take the lights from Be Sure. We're just going to run them through the headlight hole and out the bottom near the turn signal plug. We'll leave leave a little bit of extra there and just some extra down here. And cut off the excess. To wire the halo, the ring around here. On the back of the light, they have the main plug that plugs into the lights. That's for the normal high and low beams. And then they give you these two extra wires. There's no instructions with the package, but on their website, they do have the instructions that show that the red light is for the daytime running lights or the, the white ring. And the turn signal is the green wire. And then they give you two colored wires to extend down. And you need to connect them into the plug for the turn signal that's right below it. Using a multimeter, we are able to check the voltage. And you can check the black wire is the ground. The middle wire 
is for the um, parking light. So we're going to use that for the daytime running lights. And the one all the way to the side over here is for the turn signal. And it's the same on both sides. But instead of connecting into these factory wires, I've purchased a splitter that is made by Oracle for their lights, but I'm going to use it on these. Plugs in here, and I'll plug into the factory turn signal up front, and then I'm going to cut off one of the wires, the plug off of this wire, and solder the, the B-Sure wires onto it. If you look at this plug, it, the wires on this one actually come with a black, a red, and a yellow, which just happens to be the same colors as the B-Sure wires. So we'll use the, the red, we'll connect to the red, the yellow will connect to the green. Now we're going to take the splitter, make sure you get the, where the two ends are the same. We're going to cut one end off, we're going to leave plenty on this side over here so we can solder the B-Sure wires onto it. So I'll take a utility knife and we want to cut just the outside sleeve of insulation off of this so we can get to the wires inside. We've got some heat shriek tubing. This is the kind that has a glue on the inside so that it'll make a good watertight seal. Put one over each of the wires from be sure. And I got a, a big piece I'm going to put over both of them Fish that up there, we'll put that on later. Next we can strip a little bit of the wire. Then we'll go to the wire splitter. And we'll do the same thing here. Strip a little bit of the wire. Then we're going to take the yellow and just twist it, twist the two wires together. And the same thing with the red. Next we're going to solder those joints together so we have a good connection. So I've got a few extra little hairs of wire sticking out. I'm going to clean those up. connections. Just snip them off. Now we're going to take the heat shrink tube and slide it down over the connection. And if you've got a heat gun, you can use a heat gun. I don't have one, so I'm going to use a lighter. Just heat it up and melt with that sh tube shrink down onto the wire. Get a good insulation. And we'll do the same thing on the other wire. And then for the ground wire, because we're not using it, I'm just going to put a piece of heat shrink over the end to just kind of seal it so dirt doesn't get in the end of the wire. And I'll just with the glue in there, I can just pinch it shut, and that'll make a good little little seal. Then we can slide this big piece over the top of all of it, all the way down to here, and we'll shrink that one. There. 
Now we're going to connect the light and test to make sure that it works. So we're going to start down here at the, the Y adapter. We'll connect it into the factory harness. You want to push it all the way down and then make sure you push that red clip back in there to keep it locked. And then v sure provides an adapter to go from the factory plug, which again you push in, and it clicks, and then you have to push that red clip down to lock it into place. And then that adapter connects to the back of the light, just plugs in. Then we're going to connect the red wire that we just soldered in to the red wire on the back of the light. And then it comes with a little plastic sleeve. You slide over, and then another sleeve that you slide over that. Then we'll connect the yellow wire to the green wire on the back of the light. And again, push the sleeves together. Then we can test it and make sure it works. Now we've got them both hooked up. We're going to test and make sure they work. This should be the white halo with the parking lights. This is the This is the left turn signal. And the right turn signal. This is low beam. And high beam. Low beam. Halo. And off. On the old lights, there's this mounting ring they have to take off and it just pulls off as long as there's not any dirt in there. So we need to save that. Now that we know everything's working, we're going to put some electrical tape over these connections on the back of the light just to keep everything clean. Now we can take all the wires and we'll carefully put them back in the back of the, the light headlight bucket. Peel this off. And you want to line the notches on the back of the light back up in the factory notches in the headlight bucket. Make sure everything's in. You want to make sure that the DOT and SAE writing is at the top. So make sure you got the headlight right side up. And then you put the mounting ring back on. And it's kind of a unique pattern, so you have to turn it to get all the screws lined up. And then you can put the original screws back in. Then we're going to put a couple of zip ties on the on the wires here just to connect them together, kind of keep them organized. And cut off the excess. Okay. Now we're ready to get the grill. Now that we have the headlights on, we can 
put the grill back on. Start with connecting up the lights. And make sure you push the little clip. As we put this in, we want to push the wires back into the grill. And you want to line these clips here up with the holes in the front of the bar here in front of the radiator. Next is to put these push pins back in. So you push the, the big pin in, and then the little pin goes in the hole. Just repeat that for all six of them. Now with the grill on, we're ready to close the hood. We'll go give him a test now that we've got all the lights on. Make sure everything's working. Parking lights. Low beam. High beam. Left turn signal. Right turn signal. Everything's working and uh, it should be a lot brighter for driving at night and also for off-roading. Give us a lot more light, easier to see things. If you find this video useful, please uh, share it with other people, like it, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. What, what kind of pattern are we trying to look at? Okay. This is the light pattern. Okay. On low beam of the original headlights. Okay. This is high beam. And we'll uh, change these out for LED and see what they look like with the new LED lights. So here's what the new LED lo lights look like. This is low beam. And that's high beam. They're really bright and they shine a lot to the sides where the other, other ones didn't.